welcome and welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video we're going to be making a simple video on how to cut six pieces skirt without dividing your measurement by six six pieces skirt without dividing your measurement by six so what are the basic measurements required your waist your hip and your skirt length so our waist is 32 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10.5 our hip is 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11 our skirt length is 45 plus 2 we have 47 so you can see that from this measurement we did not divide our measurement by 6 and we are going to use this to achieve our 6 pieces skirt and trust me this is actually very easy and very simple method how you have to do is stay tuned don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to treat in the comment section so first i'm going to start with my pattern drafting and with me here i have my pattern paper which i have almost exhausted okay but one thing i love about this pattern paper is it's about 60 inches long and it comes in a bundle okay but i've exhausted this it's about 60 inches long and it comes in a bundle so when you're dealing with topics that requires long length such as this which is 47 inches i recommend that you use this long pattern paper because you are actually going to get like the full length from this and i'm going to be using this white pattern paper to insert my gadget when we get to the six pieces skirt and don't forget to join us on facebook to designs and on instagram to the designs all the details are going to be in the description box below so you can see how long our pattern paper is so the first thing i'll go ahead is to go ahead and mark my skirt length So I've marked my skirt length. Now I'll go in with my pattern master and connect the lines together. Basic measurement, waist to upper hip 6 inches, lower hip 8 inches, to my knee 17. Six inches, eight inches, seventeen inches. We have. So I'll go ahead and mark my dart measurement, which is four inches. Mark my dart. Mark my dart. On my waistline. This is my waist. I'll mark half inch on both sides. Mark my dart, which is four inches. Go ahead and connect the lines together and mark our waist measurement, which is 10.5. And on my lower hip, I'll mark my hip measurement, which is 11. Now, on my knee length, I'm going to deduct the number of inches between 1 inch to 2 inches. It depends on how pencil you want it to be. So, I'll go in with 2 inches. So, 11 minus 2, I have 9. I'm going to go ahead and mark this 9 inch up to my skirt length, which is 9 inches. Now, I'll go in and connect the lines together. What we have for the front block now i'll go ahead and cut this out what our front block look like i'll set that aside the back block for our back block the first thing i have to do is to go ahead and mark my zip allowance so i'm going to take one inch go in with my pattern master and connect the lines together once i'm done with that i'll mark my dart measurement which is four inches 
and on my waistline i'll mark half inch on both sides mark four inches up to my skirt length so once i'm done with that i'll connect it together i'll mark my basic measurement starting from where i have my zip allowance my waist is 10.5 my hip is 11 on our knee length we marked nine inches for the front block so you are still going to mark the same extend your nine inches up to your skirt length now i'll go in with my pattern master and connect the lines together go in and connect my lines together so this is what we have for the back block this is what we have for the back block so i'll go ahead and cut this out our back block this is what we have and for the front block this is what we have so i'm going to go ahead and label it because it's very important so here is our center front and this is our front block this is our back block and here is our zip so i'm going to go ahead and set my back block aside this block i'm going to open up my dart so i'll go ahead and open up my dart I'm going to have two pieces our center front and our side so i'll take my side away now i'm going to be going in with my white pattern paper i will attach my white pattern paper from my knee length to my skirt length at length i'm going to mark six and a half inches note that the number of inches you start with is what you are going to use all through for your panel so i'm going to go ahead and use six and a half inches and it varies okay so i'll connect this six and a half inches to my knee length i'll connect this six and a half inches to my knee length so I'll go ahead and connect it together. Going to have. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. Once I cut this out, I will also attach my white pattern paper to the other side of my center front. And I will go ahead and I tape it down. On my skirt length, I will mark six and a half inches. So this is where on the skirt length so this is our six and a half so we we'll connect our six and a half to our knee length so on my skirt length i'll go ahead and mark six and a half inches so this is my six and a half my knee length so this is what i have i'll go ahead and head and attach my pattern paper on the other side I tape it down on my skirt length i will mark six and a half inches I will extend it to my knee length. For the front block, this is what, what we are going to have. So you can see our center front and this is our side. So we we'll set this up. For the back block, I'll go ahead and open it up into two for me because this allowance we kept for the zip our zip doesn't get up to this point our zip is usually around our hip area so i'm going to go ahead and trim off this zip up to somewhere around my hip area this is optional this is what i'm going to have for my back block so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to go in with my we'll take our six and a half inches 
this is where we have our six and a half inches now we extend it to our knee length you can see so because we are using that to my zip allowance that is where we have our zip allowance so we also mark our six and a half inches after marking it we'll connect it to our knee length and then cut this out so this is what we have we set this aside now for the back block that is for the other side of the back block i will also go ahead and attach my pattern paper head and mark six and a half extend it to our knee length then we have go ahead and cut this up inches go ahead and connect it to the knee length for the back block we are going to have two pieces this way this is for our back block where we have two pieces and also for our front block we are going to have two pieces also so and i'll show you guys how to achieve your six pieces skirt using this simple method fabric into two make sure that your center front stays at this fold edge and you place it the other way around so with this you're not going to have so many pieces So you can see we have three pieces for the front block so go ahead and set this aside let's think about this method if you actually prefer this and don't forget to drop your question in the comment section so I'll go ahead and I notched the middle part where we have the zip so that um, you're not going to make mistakes so this is what we have center front so we are going to take one side and we we'll stitch it all the way down for the back block this is where we have our zip allowance so we are going to leave seven inches for our zip and I'm going to stitch from this seven inches all the way down. So this is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to take one of the side. Starting from up all the way down. piece and stitch it to this other part all the way down but we have our three pieces already so we are going to set that aside so we are going to go ahead and couple our lining together I'll stitch the second part that piece of our lining leave seven inches for the zip and we stitch from after the seven inches all the way down so we'll go ahead and join this piece to the other side and stitch it all the way down so we are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and fold the lower part of the lining 
lining so we'll go ahead and stitch this upper part and the two sides okay so we are going to stitch it the side the upper part and this second side so what we have for the back block and for the front we have one piece for the front so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fix in our zip your front block on your back block so making use of your measurements we are going to go ahead and stitch it so our waist is 32 divided by 2 we have 16 so we have one inch on both sides and our hip measurement is 38 which is 18 we have one inch on both sides so we are going to go ahead use our one inch and stitch the two sides this side all the way down and also stitch here all the way down 